welcome to Saint of the Day Mental Prayer for July 9th. Today's saint is Veronica Giuliani. But before we begin, make sure you hit the like and the share button. It's absolutely free with a money back guarantee and it truly helps me out and it helps others find these videos as well. So go ahead and like and share. Thank you. We're going to start with our enlightenment prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My God, I firmly believe that thou art everywhere present and seest all things. Cleanse my heart from all vain, wicked, and distracting thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and inflame my will, that I may pray with reverence, attention, and devotion. Veronica was born Orsola Giuliani in Urbino on the 27th of December in 1660. Her parents were Francesco and Benedetta Giuliani. She was the youngest of seven sisters, three of whom embraced the monastic life. It is told that at the age of three years, Veronica supposedly began to show great compassion for the poor. She would set apart a portion of her food for them and even part with her clothes when she met a poor child scantily clad. Veronica's mother died when she was seven years of age. When Veronica came of age, her father believed she should marry, and so he decided he desired her to take part in the social activities of the young people. But she pleaded so earnestly with her father that, after much resistance, he finally permitted her to choose her own state in life. In 1677, at the age of 17, Veronica was received into the monastery of the Capuchin Poor Clares in Umbria, Italy, taking the name of Veronica for the first time in memory of the Passion of Christ. At the conclusion of the ceremony of her reception, the bishop said to the abbess, I commend this new daughter to your special care, for she will one day be a great saint. For 50 years, Veronica lived in the Capuchin convent. With gritty determination, tempered by humility, she led her sisters as novice mistress for 34 years and as abbess for 11. In 1716, she was elected abbess. As a practical woman, she improved her sister's comfort by enlarging the convent rooms and having water piped inside. One day, the marks of the crown of thorns miraculously appeared on her forehead in 1694 and the five wounds on her body in 1697. She was humiliated by the stigmata itself and by her bishop's rigorous testing of her experience. He removed her from ordinary community life and put her under constant observation. When he determined that the phenomena were authentic, he allowed her to return to normal convent life and continue her service to her sisters. In short, St. Veronica Giuliani was an abbess who was practical and received the stigmata due to her devotion to the Passion of Christ. Reflect on this saint's life for a while. What does her life mean to you? All right, quick recap, St. Veronica Giuliani was an abbess who was practical and received the stigmata due to her devotion to the Passion of Christ. What does her life mean to you?
moving on, sit quietly and consider this. How can you live holier based on St. Veronica Giuliani's life? She was an abbess who was practical and received the stigmata due to her devotion to the passion of Christ. How can you live holier based on St. Veronica Giuliani's life? All right, quick recap. St. Veronica Giuliani was an abbess who was practical and received the stigmata due to her devotion to the passion of Christ. How can you live holier based on her life and example? All right, moving on to our Thanksgiving prayer. Almighty and eternal God, I adore thee and I thank thee for all the benefits which thou and in thy infinite goodness and mercy has conferred upon me. And our resolution, based on this reflection, you should resolve to avoid every sin you can through the power of our blessed Lord and the help of your guardian angel. However, you should especially resolve to avoid one of the seven deadly sins, which are where from all the lesser sins flow and they are as follows lust envy gluttony greed wrath pride and sloth now for our resolution and midday prayer my god i offer thee these resolutions unless thou deignest to bless them i cannot be faithful to them in lord jesus christ at midday you mounted the cross for our salvation give us your light which will bring us to eternal life in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. Follow me on social media at Shalom Kaysen 1. That's Shalom Kaysen and the number 1. Go to sdkaysen.com for daily prayers and quotes. You can support me at donate.sdkaysen.com. Or you can browse my products and prayer books. But the best way to stay in communication with me is my newsletter, the newsletter is in the link in the description. So please go to the link in the description and subscribe to the newsletter. I don't do any spam. I don't sell your information. I just send out these prayers via email. If the internet overlords decide to block uh, Christian content for any reason, I, I don't believe they will, but I, I'm not sure because a lot of people, different groups have been blocked lately and have been taken down so the safest way uh, in fact two of my favorite uh, news media christian news medias were blocked one of them being life site news which is a very great site they were actually blocked off the totally off the internet their website was going to be taken down so they had to raise a lot of money to host their website on their own server so their website actually doesn't even use any third party to um, work anymore. So it does happen from time to time. It is not very common, but if you want to stay in contact with me, subscribing to the newsletter is going to be the absolute best way. They can't block me from sending you an email. I don't foresee myself being blocked, but hey, you never know. 
So go ahead and click the link in the description to subscribe to my newsletter. It's free. And until next time, stay holy, my friends.